Hello everyone, Rare Mod Reviews here, and it's package time. So I'm not gonna waste any time here, we're gonna get straight on into it. And first up, we have a box in the box, and you already know what that is. So as you can tell just by the label on it, it's S -search, I'm sorry, SH Figure Arts, Android 19. And let's just go ahead and crack this thing open, see what's inside. So this one's actually pretty nostalgic for me because I actually had an action figure of Android 19 back when DBZ first came out back in the States. So this is like a real big trip down memory lane getting a, what should be a new and improved version of said figure. So we're of course gonna just take a quick peek around the box here, see what this thing has to offer, which is of course is gonna be amazing looks that I think they came straight out of TV show and which hopefully is some great articulation. Although let's be honest here, he's kind of built like a fridge, so <laughs> probably shouldn't be expecting too much from this thing, huh? But nonetheless, we're going to just take a little peek on the sides here. These mostly the instructions on how to switch out accessories and whatnot for this thing. We're not going to actually open it up. We're going to save that for the review because with this being an action figure, there's no build. And showing off the accessories is kind of half the review. So stay tuned for that one, guys. Now, let's get on to the next thing we have here in this box. And that is going to be the high-grade Zaku high mobility surface type. So this comes straight out of Mobile Suit Gundam Origins. As you've seen there, we have that strange logo on the bottom of these uh, box they show off. Now, this is going to be a doozy for me as all the unique camo for this uh, suit here, or rather kit, are water slide decals, and I am bad with those. So although this has nice sand and that brown coloring and what have you for this guy, if you want the camo texture to it, you need to put those order slides on. So <laughs> Bandai is really going to force me to learn how to go ahead and put on these water slide decals, whether I like it or not. And uh, one thing I also want to point out is there's a not activated and activated version for the heat stick there. So that is pretty cool that we have that going on for this thing. I'm telling you, man, these high grades are just getting better and better to the point that they're even outshining master grades in some areas, at least older ones as a, uh, a past master grade, you would have either had that thing in all black or all yellow, would have not been both. So let's go ahead and get on to the manual here. So with this being a P Bandai exclusive kit, I just want to point out everything here. Well, it's from B, um, P Bandai, by the way. Um, you're going to get the rather Spartan manual. It's going to tell you all the parts that's going to come included in this box and, of course, how to put the figure here. I'm sorry, the kit here together. But it's, it's kind of a no more, no less type of deal. So although it's going to look pretty modern and what have you, again, don't expect any information on the mobile suit itself or any of that extra jazz. It's straight to the point, and that's really it. So I'm actually going to get straight to the point with the rest of this review here. I'll, of course, show off the rest of the menu just for the heck of it. But one thing I can definitely say is strange about this kit and a lot of the recent P Bandai stuff is this one here, I'm pretty sure is a unique release. I don't believe it uses anything, if at least much at all, from any previous releases. Maybe kind of some stuff from the torso and arms, but the legs definitely have to be original. There maybe might have been some sort of prototype, this, that, or third that came out from the Origins line, but as far as I can tell, this thing's an original release. So I'm guessing P and Bandai have been kind of putting a lot of their releases out of sort of a, um, how do I put this, a trial run type of deal where the stuff that they're not sure will sell they put out in p benda was the stuff that they know will they'll do as a standard release but either way this thing doesn't seem to be super expensive it's in a ballpark of around 20 to 30 bucks which is around what you usually get for a lot of the high grade stuff so i can't quite say it's a um oh geez i cannot find the words for this uh they're not being Stingy, it's just again, I don't know. Ugh, let's just get on to the next one. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> um, they're not like, I don't know. Let me stop. Let's get on to the next one, darn it. So, our final kit here is going to be the Massacre Johnny Ridden Zaku 2. So, this was actually a bit of an older one. This came out in what is that, 2013, whereas the Zaku. I'm sorry. Yeah, the Zaku 2 High Mobility and the um, Android 19, those are both 2023 releases, brand new. So I already unboxed Shar Zaku 2 not long ago. So this thing is going to be basically 
the exact same thing as that, but with an alternate color scheme. So I'm not gonna go too crazy here with a lot of details. And I honestly probably skimp out on um, the instruction menu that's gonna come with this thing. Cause let's be honest, we know it's gonna have Shars menu in addition to the, the little instruction or whatever for what new parts are gonna be in this thing. I also wanna point out uh, if I could find a runner. Oh, here it is. There are two of the same runners for, as you can see, like the shoulder armor stuff. So I'm pretty sure it's just for the spikes, but it's really strange that they did that instead of just having that one tiny little runner for the yellow spikes that are two duplicate ones. Let's, let's be honest, it's going to look really strange. You, you use that yellow runner there and you probably won't have the, the parts to use both anyway, but, but if I can, I'll build it anyway, just for the heck of it. So... As I expected here, the little teeny tiny tablet of a instruction manual here. It's going to show off what are new uh, plates here for this thing. Uh, I'm interested to see what's going on with the instruction uh, for the uh, cockpit there. But we, of course, have the water slide decals that will make up a lot of the artwork and whatnot around the uh, suit itself. And I'm actually a little disappointed. This thing is going to be the actual Zaku 2, not the high mobility. But what the heck is this? This is a blank sheet. Like, they just get worse and worse with these. It's like, it's only those two images. They could have put that on one sheet. Why is there two for it? Like, I don't know if they want you to kind of roll it up like some sort of uh, notebook cover uh, you'd find in grade school. But yeah, uh, I, I, I don't know what to say anymore. So I, instead of me just complaining about this menu, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up this unboxing here for Johnny. I'm just like, ugh. Anyway, so in conclusion here, this has been Rare Mod Reviews. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to probably go ahead and get a review out of 19 out as soon as I can. And then I'll go ahead and build Johnny's. I know in one of my previous unboxings, I was saying which one should I build. Uh, the Kimberai Zaku's or this. I'm going to go ahead and build this one. I'm going to put a pause on Shars. I haven't even started that thing yet. I keep pushing it back for other stuff. And geez, I that high mobility now that i know things are going to be water slide decals for it. i don't even know what i'm going to do with that thing but i'll build it eventually so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing a lot more shorter than usual and i'm starting to go ahead and start editing my unboxing instead of being lazy and just doing one go um one straight take with it so tell me how you guys feel about that and hopefully the lighting's been pretty good now that i moved my setup but uh i'll see you guys in the next video and or review